back to my channel. Today I'm going to be building a cottage. I actually am building this as you see in the top left hand corner. It says 100 baby home. My mom asked me to build her a house so she could start the 100 baby challenge. And that's what I started out doing and then it ended up turning into a really really cute cottage. I don't know what happened. I was going off an inspiration photo that I had seen on Pinterest so I was like half copying the house a little bit but making a few changes to it and I absolutely love how it turned out. Now it's a lot smaller than maybe it should be for a hundred baby house. I realized that once I was completely done with the outside. So I wasn't really changing it too much. So the rooms are a little cramped, but if I'm gonna be honest, the kids really aren't going to be in their rooms all that often for the most part. They'll just be playing outside or in the living room and stuff like that. Although the house is quite tiny. But I absolutely loved how it turned out. I just completely forgot all the good things that Debug has for cottage living, if I'm going to be honest. And I was just having so much fun playing with all the different details that they have. Like, they have little mushrooms you could add in the grass and little flowers and stuff like that. They have amazing bushes and trees. I just it's so pretty and i know that some people are probably completely over cottage living because it's been out for over a year we don't really need to talk about it so much but it's honestly one of my all-time favorite packs for the sims 4 completely i just love the cottagey feels i love the, the stones and the beautiful flowers and stuff i was struggling as you can tell on the front, it was taking me forever to figure out what windows I wanted to use and I was struggling so hard to figure out what brick I wanted to use for the outside so I was scrolling so so long trying to figure out what I really wanted to do for the outside. I didn't know if I wanted stone, if I wanted brick, if I wanted this super chunky stone that came with cottage living so I honestly kept everything in all of my struggles in this video to show you that I have struggles building and you will have struggles building. That's just how it is when it comes to The Sims 4 because you have these amazing ideas in your head and exactly what you want to do but sometimes we don't have those options. Like when I started furnishing I was struggling with carpets. We do not have enough carpets. We just need better options we need better plain options i don't know a lot we like we have a lot of carpets but a lot of it's like you're not really gonna use any of it like are we gonna use a zebra print no not really unless you're purposefully using it now i actually really liked how this blue ish brick turned out i really like how that looked on it but it wasn't really the vibe that I was going for, but maybe one day I can build a house using that blue brick because it's actually absolutely gorgeous. But I just felt like like the red on red was really too much and then the red on blue was too much because I wanted to use the red roof and I thought that it made it look like a like American house. Like you want to go America or something like that but it wasn't really the vibe that I was going for so I actually ended up just changing the red roof to this gorgeous gorgeous aqua color I absolutely love this color I honestly didn't know that we had it in this color uh I think I tried changing it maybe to a darker green but I just ended up keeping it like this and now I am finally entering the outside decoration realm i added so many just trees and bushes and all kinds of ivy going up the walls and stuff and i probably added too much it covers a lot of the windows in the front but i was having so much fun playing with all of the debug items i mean can you see this all of those beautiful flowers and little extra 
grass and stuff it was just so flippin cute so i could not help myself but use it so there is a lot going on in the front of the house i think it's absolutely gorgeous i end up putting a little patch area so you can have all kinds of gardening set up and there's a pond that has some duckies in it and i just think that it's absolutely so so cute i just loved it and in the first little singular building i do end up making that kind of like the hobby money making area if you are doing the 100 baby challenge um if not this build's probably going to be really annoying for you to have to fix because there is like 10 beds in this house and all of that is because of bunk beds otherwise i would have not been able to do that but if you are using this for the 100 baby challenge i kind of turned this front building into where your sim would go to if she wanted to write if she wanted to do any blogging there's also a paint area she has a little nook to read so i kind of made that area so she could be away from all of the children not have to deal with all of them being grumpy grump or anything like that i was kind of thinking of turning that into the bedroom for her so she had the babies in there and she had her own separate bathroom and stuff like that she didn't have the kids bothering the baby trying to do whatever they try doing but it, they're always in the way and you can never like change them or anything like that so I was thinking about doing that but I ended up just deciding against it because I didn't want to have this big massive building on the side of the house because it's quite tiny in there beds take up a lot of space bathrooms take up a lot of space so i didn't end up doing that and in the end i don't have it filmed but when i went to put it up in the gallery i realized there was only two bathrooms in the house and that is just not enough when you have so many sims that you're gonna have um so i ended up putting some potty bushes outside i did use the new werewolf pack so i used the plain potty bush and if i'm gonna be honest i used too many packs but this was for my mom and i knew that she was absolutely love this build once i kind of turned into the cottage direction i was like she's gonna absolutely fall in love with this so i kind of didn't really limit myself i limited myself to towards the end be wary of the fact that i don't want to use eight million packs so i half limited myself but i didn't like stress out if i ended up using a few packs so i ended up using seasons cottage living the werewolf pack i definitely know that i ended up using the like family pack not generations why is that parenthood i use parenthood i also ended up using that cauldron and if you're asking me brie why are you putting a cauldron in the back of the house i ended up moving it to the side but why are you using that why why do we need that we're not witches why do we need a cauldron well if you did not know once you hit i think it's cooking skill level 10 you can make mass batches of food in that thing so you can have mass batches of chili and mac and cheese so you make 10 servings i think it's 10 servings but you're literally cooking in a giant cauldron and when you have six children living in your house plus you you eat a lot of food so you can make mass batches in the cauldron so that's why i put that back there and if you didn't know that you're welcome it is amazing thing to use so you can just cook so much food and not have to be like i want six servings but i have to cook this meal two separate times because i don't have enough for everybody who's in the household now you do so that's why i ended up putting the cauldron i ended up moving that to the side of the house though over by where the crops are because I ended up putting a tent in the backyard from Dream Home Decorator 
because that just helps with skills so much and if you don't know what the 100 baby challenge is i keep saying it and talking about it but if you don't know what it is basically you want to have a hundred babies in the least amount of generations so when your sim is pregnant they do not age but in the process of them trying to get pregnant they are aging so really you want to try and have as many babies as you can until they come become an elder and you can only have eight sims in a household so it kind of will take you a while and also you are not allowed to age them up until they hit like level four in certain skills and if they well for toddlers they have to reach level four in all of their skills or maybe it's three and then for kids the and teens they have to be grade a before you can age them up so in school they have to be having a's before you can age them up in teens they have to be a grade a and then you can move them out of your house and you have to do that with a hundred babies and it's honestly really fun because your sim is just having babies with so many sims so you could literally have babies with Vlad but the one thing is you can only have like kids like once per sim so you can only have a baby with Vlad once now if it turns out to be twins that's great for you but you can only do that once with Vlad so once you have had a child with him you can't like go back so it has some rules I'm sure you could definitely just google it Uh, a lot of people kind of change how they do it so I know some people it's not as difficult if you wanted to you're also not supposed to have a job you're supposed to be making money on your own so that's why I had the painting area and for you to be a writer and stuff like that in that front building because technically you're supposed to be making your simoleons on your own you're not supposed to be working but if I'm gonna be honest working and taking care of all of those kids would actually be way more difficult so maybe if you wanted to add a little extra challenge to the 100 baby challenge you actually have to (laughs) go to work so the 100 baby challenge it sounds really really weird but it's honestly super fun i have never finished it I've started it a few times and then I just end up stopping. I've done that with a lot of challenges like I had started the not so berry challenge and then I just stopped doing it because I aged, I accidentally double aged up my first generation sim and then she died before I could finish the element collection and then I was just so mad at myself that I just stopped. I just gave up. Like, I think I actually just deleted that entire save because I was so, so mad. But yeah, let me know in the comments if there, if you've heard of the 100 Baby Challenge or if you think I should start the 100 Baby Challenge. I think it would be kind of fun, but like, it, it kind of seems a lot stressful and maybe towards the end I would get bored. I don't know. I know there's people that they have spent like years trying to finish the 100 baby challenge but let me know in the comments so now i am starting on building the inside decorating it and as you see these rooms are super super small there's only two toddler beds and i honestly probably should have tried to put one more in there because you can't have triplets in the sims but that's my fault um all of the teen and kids rooms though have four beds and That might be a little like extravagant and too much but I just thought that it would work out better that way and I also ended up just putting three toddler potties in the main bathroom upstairs because I figured like you would if you're gonna potty train your toddlers just do it all at once with all of them it's just easiest they're all sitting there they're all going potty together all gain their skills so (laughs) that's where that's what I did with that but I wanted to make sure that we're there was enough toys and stuff for all of the sims to do things so they're all entertained so 
there's an easel upstairs they have all kinds of toy there's a toy box there's a tv upstairs for the teens so if they want to get away from the children they can read in bed watch tv in bed they can read on the covers and i really just wanted to make sure there was enough things for everybody to do the outside i have that movie theater area there's a tent there's like a fountain for them to play in through the water there is all kinds of different stuff for them to do so i'm getting close to finishing up this build i think that this build is actually really really fun i wanted to make sure that all the rooms had some personality to them i know the toddler room is kind of iffy it's kind of eh, but it was so small i made the upstairs or just the build in general probably way too tiny well no i made it way too tiny i ended up expanding it by like a single tile but it really should have been bigger but i had already done the outside i didn't feel like manipulating it too much and then causing anger on myself because I was already done with the outside and I had already loved it. So here I am just adding some extra pieces around the kitchen dining room area. There is another computer downstairs. So your sim can use that for school or whatever they need. And if you decide to be a writer, you're not fighting for the computer with your other children that you have in the house. But yeah, I just think that it's quite it's quite tiny but I just really like how it turned out I ended up adding two bassinets I used the werewolf bassinets because I thought that they were so adorable I couldn't not use them I mean look at them there's a little lamb and they have like fuzzy blankies on the inside I put a little reading nook so I kind of made it like that's where you would like sit and rock your baby. Obviously, you can't do that in The Sims because babies are um, actually useless. You can't do anything with them. They just cry and scream. And yeah, I know babies do that in real life. But like after probably like a month, they have personality to them. You know, you know, they, they start like making weird faces and doing funny things and they're more than just something you stick in a crib so in my head that's where you would sit and rock with your baby and maybe play with them or something um so she has a really nice bookshelf she has some pictures maybe that's like stanley on the wall who used to be like her long lost love or something like that but she was so stressed out or heartbroken that she decided she wanted 100 kids i don't know why you would do that but maybe that's just what happened to her and these are like her family members i don't know but i'm just adding a few extra things this is me doing her little nook mommy safe area a place where she can go to be away from all of her children that she created but still get work done and make money so there's plenty of things for you to do and if you didn't know that bird feeder you can actually fill with bird feed and you can see birds come and eat from the bird feeder and you can watch birds from it which is kind of kind of cool i honestly didn't know that you could do that when i first got i think that's from the outdoor game pack i don't know but it's really cute but I really hope that you liked this video. Maybe it was helpful to give you some inspiration. Maybe you learned something new like about the 100 baby challenge. But that's going to be it for this video. If you like this build, it is up on my gallery at build a Bree. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!